Transition Awareness Breathing. Feeling grounded for both children and parents is essential for healthy living and learning. Join Eartha Powell on this series for tips and tools for creating a harmonious environment for learning. Transition Awareness Breathing will help you and your child find an individualized path to tackle change, promote lifelong learning, and discover new approaches to calmness. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Transition Awareness Breathing. I am so happy to continue this uh, series with you today about filling your water bottles with care. Last time, I talked about how important it is to replenish our energy, replenish our, our water. The water um, represented energy. And oftentimes, we are pouring our energy into others. And so this, this exercise that I'm sharing with you today is, is um, credited actually to Gina Beagle. Um, and she has a program called Stress Teens. And in her workbook, um, you know, she gave this analogy of, you know, there's different um, networks or compartments in our lives. And can you name some, maybe some containers and some networks in your life? Maybe one might represent family. And so you pour your energy into your family. And maybe another compartment, I have little cups here representing those little compartments. Um, but another compartment could be your work, your work life, and all that that entails. And maybe another compartment may be school. Uh, for, for some people, instead of work, it could be school. Um, what's, what are, what's your third compartment? that you pour your, your energy into. So I'll give you a moment so that you can name that third category that you pour your energy into. And, re and remember the water is representing something that's coming from inside you, your energy, your time. And in our last time together, I was in the garden and I was sharing how important it was to provide water for the plants in the garden because it was so hot. And maybe in the, during the day, in the morning, it's pleasant, but not burning, scorching hot. And so the heat represents stress. And stress is a normal part of life. Stress is something that keeps us moving and motivated. It stirs excitement. It helps us to be aware of our environment. And so I kind of visualize that's the morning heat, the comfortable, or, you know, when it gets colder, it's still not too much, but it's enough to kind of wake you up and you can move around. But as the heat of the day, especially here in Texas, moves into like the later the later hours that heat the warmth of the sun feels great after a while it begins to drain the energy f from from us and so preparing for that stress preparing for that heat is something that is 
very important, just like for the plants, to prepare the plants for the heat by giving them water. So think of some things. Right now, we're going to go into it a little bit more, but right now, what are some things, some activities that you do to help you prepare for the heat of your day, the upcoming stress. Now these are stressors that it's not a surprise. You know, we're gonna to go to work, we know our family, we're gonna take care of them. But there's points maybe during the day we know it's gonna get a little bit hectic. And So it's, it's not something that's an unplanned stress. We'll talk about unplanned stress a little bit later. But what are some things that, you're, that you can list that you do to prepare yourself for the heat of your day? So I'll give you a few moments to think about that. You can write it down if you'd like. Okay. And if you haven't thought about the things that you do. Maybe you, you do them, but you really haven't thought about it. This is so helpful because I think that awareness helps us recognize and acknowledges that we are all participating in a self-care activity and maybe we're not giving ourselves credit for it. We kind of minimize um, the, the self-care activities that we do. With my teen group uh, this week, we did some journaling. And so this is what um, I'd like to share with you. It's a little bit what I did with my teen group. Uh, so we just took a moment. And I had my, my group think about and write down their positive qualities. Not the qualities that other people said about them, but the positive qualities they feel that they have about themselves. And so I invite you to think about your positive qualities that you feel that you have. And I'll give you a few moments to think about that. And now, as you're listing all the positive qualities, and some may be, you know, you feel that you are helpful, or maybe you may feel that you are creative, Maybe you feel that you are very positive. So those are just some, some thoughts that you can add to your list if you, you know, are stuck. But now, look at your list and circle the, the, the positive quality out of all the, the positive qualities that you have written down, which quality best really describes you? you know, the other ones are, are you also, but which one really, really gives you a really positive, warm feeling feeling inside. It gives you the warm fuzzies and you're happy that you, you had that quality. And let me add, um, before I forget, that that positive quality, it, it is something, you may not be good at it right now, but you, you would put forth the effort and, and energy and the openness to learn more about that positive spark, that positive quality that you have, okay? So even though you may not be good at this positive quality, 
is something that you really cherish and you may be a little bit shy about expressing it to, to others. So just circle that one. Now, notice how you are feeling right now as you're circling that positive quality that you feel represents you and gives you a really warm feeling. Is your water bottle getting full? Does it energize you? That's what we're focusing on today. If you are open and willing to spend a little energy, a little openness to nurture that part of you. Maybe it's a little time or maybe it's a class or maybe it's journaling or, or sharing with others. What would help you to grow in that positive quality that you have circled. And I would suggest that that, that that one quality is your recharging point. It's the part that helps you re vitalize your energy so that you can share your energy, that positive energy with others. I hope that, that you are, you found this helpful. I think it's fantastic. The next time you pick up a bottle of water, take a moment and think, how have I recharged my energy today, right now? And to take another step forward, if you haven't start recharging your water bottle, Right now, decide in this next moment, this is the step I'm going to begin to char recharge my water bottle. We're not talking about next week. We're not talking about not even tomorrow. We're talking about right now, today, the next minute. I am open and I'm committed to begin to refill my energy, to refill my positivity, to refill my self so that I can share with others. And that positivity that grows inside you, that energy, it pours into others. You know those containers that, those three containers the family, the work, the school, and then that other container. Now those containers are filled with your positive energy. And as I wrap up with this exercise, just recognize that if there is a container that is draining you, that is draining your energy and maybe you realize that maybe that container is not a healthy container, ask yourself, are you willing to rechannel your energy into something positive? Just let that kind of sink in. If we take a water hose and we're watering the desert, are we pouring our energy 
into something that cannot benefit from the positive energy because just by its nature, a desert, it is dry and barren. And dry and barren things has its purpose as well. And it gets its energy from another source. But at this time, we're not feeding that energy. Our energy is a positive energy so that it can be helpful to spread the positive energy and provide calmness that decreases stress in our lives and in the lives of others. Be sure and pick up a copy of Eartha's new book, Tab Mindfulness, Awareness and Coloring Activities in a Pandemic World. It's not just an ordinary coloring book. It features 23 illustrations to stimulate thought, relaxation, and creativity for anyone between the ages of 4 and 94. Increase your positive self-talk energy. Unlock new creative paths. Transform your time once or twice a week to create beautiful art while strengthening confidence, building positive self-talk, and sensitize self-awareness. Tab Mindfulness, awareness and coloring activities in a pandemic world. It's available now at Amazon.com.